How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, the one and only Chaos Gamer. And yes, we are back with more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. And in today's video, we're going to be explaining about who is the free-to-play character that is going to be releasing when the brand new mode comes out relatively soon, which is going to be the end of June. That's when they did confirm that we are going to get this brand new Climax Battle Mode. And what possibly, highly likely could be the next banner unit to come out with the Climax Battle Mode. So, with that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's blow this shit right the hell up. And ladies and gentlemen, let us get started with today's video. So, as you guys know... Through this month of June, I did cover some videos about the brand new mode that is going to be coming out soon. And with the mode, we did get a picture of All For One standing menacingly in a shaded cover with the brand new mode coming soon. Now, that did say for a lot of people that, yo, All For One could be a free-to-play you are coming in this brand new mode. Now, I was kind of hesitant on it. I wanted to wait and see because if you guys do remember the other mode that we got, they just showed us a bunch of old URs in the cover. So, I'm assuming that, oh, they're just using new art to show off the brand new mode, but no, you guys were right. It has been confirmed from the homeboy himself, Air Impact, that the free to play UR character in this brand new event is going to be all for one. And I cannot wait for this man to drop because I will grind him to the maximum capacity to make him as good as possible. Mind you, I will say this though, do not be surprised if this mode is super difficult to the point that you cannot beat it at the first try of when it releases because if the game wants to preserve its longevity the best way to do it is to make the mode super hard and then if we have to beat the mode at the best circumstances we will have to summon on the banners that come out that will help us in this brand new mode like if you guys know with Dokkan Battle as a perfect example the red zone you need the 200% leader skills in order to beat the red zone that is just how it works or 100% uh, not 100% sorry 170% leader skills that are across the board but majority of the time you do need that 200% leader skill with ultra impact it should be the same thing where we get these URs that come out and they are perfect for this brand new mode that is going to be releasing into the game now some people might not like it some might people think it's a good thing I personally think it's a good thing if they do it like that. Now, another thing as well is that from the boy Zen, he says it that if you clear it at class SS difficulty, you can get the all for one. So that's what I'm talking about, that if this class SS difficulty is very difficult for us to beat, that is where they should start promoting URs where they are specifically able to dominate in this brand new mode. Now, another thing that I did want to touch up as well is the fact that we did get this um, hint last night on who the next you are is going to be on the banner. Now, I thought, and everybody else thought as well, that from this post right here, that it could have been Best Genus as the next you are. But, we could be wrong here, and that it could be what people are saying is the Silver Age All Might, which would be absolutely sick if we get another All Might in the game, especially an All Might that was young, because All Might that was young was OP as hell. So we could see a broken All Might come into the game relatively soon. And that is something that I would love to waste all my gems on, because the last time that All Might came out into the game, it was around December, and it was around the half anniversary. So it's been a while since we have seen All Might in the game. So I would not be surprised if they want to drop another all might in the game mind you there probably are going to be people that are complaining about that as well like oh my god we're getting another all might like why can't they just switch it up and make something new listen all might brings the bread so they want to release the all might that is the reason why they're releasing the all might to make bread in the game and i certainly love the fact that we're getting another all might because besides the free to play all might and the red all might we only have two all mights in the game while midoriya and bakugo are running around with five versions of themselves and Shoto as well. So I don't see the problem in All Might getting another version of himself. So with that, that is what we're going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but it's always greatly appreciated. Also subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you hype for the fact that All For One is going to be the next free to play you are in the game? Hopefully they do do him justice by giving him an AoE attack that's absolutely amazing. If they can just give him AoE and lower his defense, bam, he'd be perfect for me. And that's what I would like to see. And also, if it's a purple character, a blue character, or a yellow character. I'll definitely take if he's a yellow character. But with that, guys, I'll see ya. Peace.